Well, good morning, everyone. It's 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I have absolutely no reason to be up this early. And yet here I am going to Milan to pick up yet another broken IBM 5150. Should be complete with accessories and everything else. And uh, of course, it doesn't work. I mean, why would I pick up working computers? So I guess I'll bring you along and let's see if we can get this machine up and running by lunchtime. Okay, uh, just got to the office. It's what, quarter past 11? Took some time and while I was in Milan, I also did some other things. And uh, yeah, this is what I got. Uh, 5151 uh, monochrome display. 5150 base unit doesn't look like it's been spiced up too much it's very bog standard um half height hard drive though which is uh, probably added afterwards and of course the clicky clicky model f keyboard uh i'll drag everything into the office and uh we'll see what did i get myself into oh terrible flickering anyhow that's what uh, 80 euros got me a basically a complete set and a spare hard drive so that probably means that the ones uh, uh, that is inside is probably bad so let me just rearrange things a little bit uh, find a way to prop you up because uh, you have no tripods or anything and we're gonna pop the skirt and see what uh, what kind of surprises are hiding in there all right let's go for it uh, i've already noticed that the screws are some of them are missing and some of them have been mixed up so we're already off to a great start cards wise uh that's the floppy controller that's the monochrome video adapter and that's basically it this is probably a memory expansion i would guess and there's probably going to be the hard drive controller as well i de definitely not like any 5250 emulation card or stuff like that which would have been nice Alrighty, moment of truth. Oh yeah. Not the same over here. Well, there is a computer inside. That's good. And uh, let me just prop you up. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. That's what you get. A SD225. Yet another one. The big ass floppy drive. Fairly recent power supply which is set uh, to 220, yeah, that's good. And uh, cards wise, again, monochrome video adapter, that's the original IBM, a memory expansion, I was right, pretty small actually, the floppy controller and a Seagate drive controller. And here's the date sticker, 6th of August, 1984. Of course, this machine is from 1981, so it's a, Again, a very late one. I just noticed that the drive is also a bit crooked. Or oh, I don't know if it just needs to be straightened up. We're just gonna fix. Pretend we didn't see that. And um, yeah, 6th of August. Actually, today is like the, the 12th, the 13th, whatever. It's pretty close. Um, it's actually like the, the day or the day after uh, the, the day was introduced, which was like the 11th of August. I don't know. I'm terrible at dates. But uh, of course, it's a later revision, um, 64 to 56. It's the later board. We do have some bodge wires, though. I wasn't expecting that on such uh, a recent thing. But um, yeah, I'm rambling too much. Let's just get the party started. We're just gonna plug it in and see what it happens. This is too off. This is plugged in. Smoke test. Nothing. Okay. Uh, of course, we're probably gonna have a shorted rail. So. Let me just pick up my multimeter and just check real quick. This thing are filled with tantalum capacitors and they absolutely love to go short. So, put in ohms, um, let's do the basics. And let's see. Actually, the fan wasn't spinning and usually the fan is wired up to m mains, I think, on these machines. Oh, we also have some notes. Interesting. 
512 megs? Well, somebody definitely did a typo because it cannot have 512 megabytes of RAM. So we're gonna stick this thing into the ground. Okay, yellow is already shorted. That's pretty good. Fantastic. Which is what, 12 volts? And uh, about 11 ohms on the red, which is five volts, which is, I think it's fine. There actually, there's actually plenty of logic in here, but we have a short on the plus 12, definitely. So <laughs> that was really easy. I guess we're gonna start unplugging stuff and uh, we can actually see if it's on the main board. These are the main plugs that go to the main board. So if I just disconnect these two, now we only have power to the floppy drive and to the hard drive. So let's see what happens now. Yeah, now it's good. And it's probably gonna be this like high resistance here. Yeah, so I think the hard drive is enough for the power, for uh, a load for the power supply. This is still plugged in, let's try again. Yeah, spinning fan. And the hard drive is coming up. Maybe. Yeah, just did the seek. So, uh, perfect. We don't have uh, stuck heads, actually, which is really good. Uh, the floppy drive also means that it's good. Is it plugged in? Uh, oh. oh, what the? Oh, nice. It's, yeah professional upgrade this one it's like missing half of the screws or what the i have no idea what is going on with it we're just gonna pretend let me just find something to stick in here we're just gonna look at it later everything is fine um so uh i can actually power just the plus five which is what i'm gonna try and do now shut up actually i just unplug this thing okay enough of that the cabling is a mess in this machine somebody definitely tinkered with it so I'm not gonna bother keeping it tidy um yeah that's the five volts i'm just gonna leave this uh shouldn't it be unplugged actually what does uh, what kind of boards use the plus 12 here i think the floppy because I, I don't think plus 12 is used on the uh, main board too much. So let me just, we're gonna try and keep everything in one shot here. Let me take off a few boards like this. Uh, let's just plug this in again. Okay. I'm just gonna stick the multimeter in here like this okay so we still have a short so it's not the floppy drive controller is it the video card then uh, also i don't have a thermal camera here so it would have been a lot easier it is not the video card huh all right Things are getting interesting. Is it the hard drive controller? Of course, it's not gonna be the hard drive controller. It's gonna be like that capacitor that sits underneath here, which means I need to remove everything. Yeah. It's still shorted. And if I unplug it, yeah. So, Ah, oh, that's excellent. Um, or maybe it's like one of these, because I mean, those are actually... Ah, oh, what a pain. So, um, let me actually take, take a deeper look at it, and uh, I'll probably like dig up some schematics or something, because there is not that much that uses 12 volts on this logic board, so it has to be just a couple of capacitors. We'll try to pinpoint the, the one that's the culprit. Hang on a second. 
Well, 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 I think I fooled myself. Um, I remember that IBM published full schematics for this machine, which is correct. What I didn't remember is that every single capacitor is called C7. There is just one between the 12 volts and ground. It's C7. I mean, good luck, good luck finding it. There are what, four of them here. There's another one here, which is called, which is called C7. There's another one here, which is C7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good job to whoever labeled this thing. Here's another one. So, yeah, we're back to square zero. Now, there are two other methods. Um, we can either use the multimeter to trace it out and see where the resistance is the lowest, which means you're closer to the, to the capacitor. Um, you, you can, we can also hope that the power supply has enough oomph to blow it up, which it, it actually works out uh, nicely sometimes. And in fact, for entertainment, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm just going to plug the multimeter. Hang on a second. Sorry for the one hand operation. It's going to plug the multimeter here, set it to volts, zero. I'm going to watch up over there. And uh, oh, yeah, we got smoke. Exactly what I wanted. <coughs> all in my mouth but uh, yeah I think we cleared the short <laughs> now I just gotta find uh, who did it I'm gonna watch the video again and snip it off all right watch the video again and it's uh, that guy over there um, so I said that you had to be working by lunchtime and it's already 12 so we're just gonna take a shortcut I'm not gonna just get unscrew the board and desolder it I'm just gonna do some wiggling yeah, professional work like this. Okay, easy enough. We're just gonna leave that aside. And um, yeah, let me just plug in the multimeter again, just to be sure. Again, sorry for the one-handed operation, but I guess you're, you're used to it now. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful, exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna set it on volts just to make sure it doesn't like go to 20. And uh, smoke test part two, here we go. All right, um, I flipped the lead, so that's correct. Oh, hello. Guess we have a happy computer now. I just need to put everything back together, plug in the monochrome display, and uh, let's see if we get a picture. All right, moment of truth, everything is plugged up. Hopefully correctly. I still have a multimeter on the 5 volt rail just to make sure that everything is fine. I'm gonna crank up brightness and contrast. And uh, I saw a little flash here. I don't know. 5 volts display. I hear the high voltage. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. It's been 25 years since it's been uh, turned on. At least that's what the owner told me. Display is waking up nicely. It's taking its time to initialize. That's interesting. Shouldn't be so slow. Huh. Still have good 5 volts. What is going on? Did I get the memory wrong? <laughs> nope. Uh, oh. Well, the hard drive controller woke up. Oh, no way. Is it gonna boot? <laughs> it does. And the last time has been turned on was Saturday, November 30, 1996. <laughs> That's before I was born. No way. <laughs> Works beautifully. There it is. It's, haven't had lunch yet, and I have a fully working IBM 5150. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll put it back together, uh, tidy up the cabling, give it a quick cleanup, and then, I don't know, I'll either archive it or uh, give it a, a new home. And check out this professional hard drive bracket. I mean, zero noises now. That's factory. <laughs> also has the original cardboard in the floppy drive. I'm gonna test it out later. 
Um, it's got belts underneath, they're probably bad. But uh, yeah, that's unbelievable. Hard drive works immediately. That's amazing. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.